Hey guys, and welcome back to another More with Moro's video. Today's video is going to be a clean with me, kind of like a get it all done video. I just first want to say how much I have missed you guys. I was just looking at when I uploaded last, and it was a month ago. I cannot believe that for some reason in my head it did not feel like that long so i just want to say i miss you guys so much and i am officially back I'm actually now wishing i would have told you guys that i might have taken a little break but i really didn't think that it would be this long and i think i also wasn't anticipating frank's recovery so many of you guys already know my husband frank had shoulder surgery that's a little bit of a tongue twister shoulder surgery at the beginning of february and so far it has been a rough recovery especially the first two weeks i had to be basically his caretaker um and you guys already know i have five kids three dogs so a lot of stuff was put on my shoulders no pun intended to frank but i definitely had a lot on my plate and i already had a lot on my plate before so it just piled on basically because not only am i taking care of, taking care of the kids and the dogs and the household and the cleaning and the laundry and the cooking but i also have to help frank with basic things because he couldn't and he still really can't use his now he's four weeks out so he can kind of use his arm a little bit now but he couldn't you know you don't think about putting on socks or helping pull up his shorts or you know washing his back for him things like that that i hadn't had to do before and you know he can't really do now i had to take that on so it's been a lot i'm going to be honest with you guys um but you know, I feel like I've had a lot of highs and lows and this is why I love and miss doing these videos because I almost feel like I get to have like a therapy session with you guys in a way because I can like just talk and you guys could watch me clean or organize or whatever I'm doing and I can just, you know, tell you everything that I'm feeling and as I was filming this actually Fletcher barged in there so the camera might be moving a little bit but now that things have kind of slowed down just a little bit because things are still really crazy over here but since you know things have kind of slowed down a little bit i'm ready to get back into these videos and doing more cleaning videos because i am having to do more cleaning more organizing more laundry more everything so why not film it and show you guys so today as i was filming this video i was pretty much catching up on all the laundry before I could catch up with the laundry no problem because I had Frank to help me now it all depends on me because you really can't do laundry with one hand and you know even things like picking up Fletcher or changing Fletcher's diaper Frank cannot do right now so when I say it's been a lot it's been a lot and it's been a lot for him he's had a really rough recovery and everybody that i've talked to you and that has came up to frank um like just random people in public they'll just ask like hey what'd you have done rotator cuff you know things like that and he's like nah my labrum was almost completely torn and all, almost everybody you guys nine times out of ten they say how rough the recovery is he actually just went to the store yesterday some guy approached him and was like yeah three years later i'm still feeling it so um I think they're trying to be nice, but Frank's just like three years later. So, you know, he he has a long recovery and he will actually be starting physical therapy very soon. And I know a lot of you guys are probably missing the projects, but you know what? I am always the type of person that I have to try to find. Oh, by the way, look how cute Fletcher is helping me with the laundry. I had to like film on a story for my Instagram because it was just so cute. You know, he's definitely been my little helper and I will say I'm very lucky that the kids have kind of stepped up and they have helped me out a lot, but it's also given them more responsibilities too, which going back about the silver lining in all of this, like I was saying, the kids have had more responsibility, but also it's taught me to do things that I normally don't do because Frank did it. So for example, I have learned how to hang stuff more for the kids and to take on more responsibility. So who knows, maybe we can still do projects just like on a smaller scale because I ain't gonna be building no DIY fireplace. <laughs> um, but you know, having Frank guide me and teach me how to do those things. So that might be interesting. Stay tuned. Um, 
I have never have learned how to mow the grass. I've never mowed a grass or lawn before. Uh, so I might be learning how to do that this spring and summer. We'll see, it'll depend on Frank's recovery. Um, but you know, even you guys will see at the end of this video, I learned how to do something else that I never did before because I just let Frank do it. So, you know, actually I am learning a lot. Am I stressed? Yes. Is my plate overfilling? Yes. But I'm also learning, which is good. There's always a upside to things, or at least I try to find the upside to things. Um, but like I was saying, I really needed to catch up on laundry. It's been really hard for me to do that just because of all the other things that I have to do. So today I fully dedicated my time to putting up my laundry, Frank's laundry, and also I put up the boys laundry which you guys will see here in a little bit but the only laundry that I wasn't able to put up because I just was like you know what it can wait it can wait was the girls but just being able to say that everybody had clean clothes and I was caught up in that way feels really good to say but if you guys want to know my secret because I always get the question how do you do it Brittany how do you keep a clean house how do you keep things organized basically what I do is I'll do it in little increments throughout the day like if I see something that needs to get done I'll take five minutes out of my day to do it um, I actually didn't have anything planned for this day so it actually worked out great because I was able to catch up on everything that I needed to do for example all the laundry cleaning up some of the kids rooms now for the most part they're responsible for a lot of their cleaning but I will go in there and just help them out a little bit especially Fletcher because he's two years old he can't really do much he can do a little bit we're still teaching it's a process um, but as you guys can see I brought the rug from the playroom up in Fletcher's room because I'm starting to transition that room downstairs into an office office sorry an office and it's been a slow transition just because of everything else but i did bring up this cubicle one of the cubicles out of the playroom because honestly he was the only one that would play in it and a majority of the toys that were in the playroom were Fletcher so I took all of those toys upstairs because the rest of the kids all of their toys they keep in their room the girls they have all their dolls and everything in their room Nolan he has all of his toys in his room so I really want to be able to utilize that space downstairs for a designated office and also a place where we can work with or work on simply etched in the future unfortunately we're not able to do Simply Etched right now, our engraving business. So I've gotten some emails, you know, asking, where are you guys? And we put a formal notice on our Instagram, but I know not everybody follow, uh, follows us on there. So once Frank can be able to use both of his hands, we will start that engraving business, which just makes me so sad because we're probably gonna have to miss Easter tags. I don't know, stay tuned, we'll see. But we definitely need space for that like a designated space so that will definitely be in the works that will actually be a future project because i will be doing it probably completely by myself so i kind of wanted to get it started by at least moving some of the stuff out of there um there's still another cubicle and a few toys for fletcher to play with but for the most part he's getting older now and he just goes up to his room when he wants to play i just lock the kids door so he doesn't go in there and mess with stuff and it works that way um, but I actually noticed that his sheets were wet I'm not sure what happened if he I don't know if he accidentally peed through his diaper or if he spilled a cup or something so I just went ahead and stripped his sheets and threw that in the wash as well and then vacuumed his room um, I didn't have to do much in the girls room and I always leave Aria to do her room she's almost 11 years old so unless I need to go in there and vacuum or that's really pretty much it then I'll go in there but um, I will pretty much help the girls with their room and then Nolan's also for the most part pretty responsible for his room I'll go in there help him out a little bit from time to time and of course the laundry it never stops you guys it never ever stops <laughs> I will say I have to give Aria a lot of credit right now because she already knows how to work the washer the dryer everything she will start her clothes put it in the dryer fold them organize them completely on her own which helps out tremendously it helps out so much so usually what i do is i'll wash the girls clothes together because they share a room they share a hamper and oh i wanted to talk about this stain and odor remover by the way i'll link that down below because sometimes coco will sneak upstairs and have accidents and that has been a life saver you guys so i'll link it down below if you 
have pets and you want to get stain or urine stains out of the carpet use it I promise um, so I'll do the girls clothes together and then I'll do the boys clothes together and that usually works and it almost feels like I'm not I'm cutting down on how much laundry or I guess amount of laundry does that make sense I don't know if that makes sense or not um, but actually as I was cleaning and doing everything I have been obsessively listening to the Murdoch or Murdo Murdoch I don't know how you say it but I've been listening to that case on repeats on the trial and everything let me know your guys' thoughts about it I know a lot of you guys are probably going to be curious about my thoughts and i have i watched the documentary on netflix i have been keeping up with the trial i have like fully invested a lot of my time mainly when i am doing laundry and cleaning so for my opinion on it i have to look at somebody's track record and for me now this is just my opinion okay just my opinion just putting that out there his track record shows that he is a liar and he's a fraud and you know i don't believe in coincidences you got to think about all the people that have died hopefully youtube doesn't flag me for that um but have died surrounding that family like to me that does not seem like a coincidence that's just my input i have listened to so many cases you guys know i am a true crime junkie true crime junkie through and through and it just it doesn't sound good to me like the whole thing does not sound good doesn't sound right the timeline doesn't sound right so I don't know. I'm nervous because he does hold a lot of power and I'm almost afraid that he might get away with it, but something is telling me that he was definitely involved somehow. He knows about it somehow. Um, so I will say that. So you guys will have to let me know if you guys like to hear about my input about more crimes or if you guys would like to hear more about that. Maybe I could do more videos like that while I'm cleaning. But actually, as I was cleaning, I heard Scarlett cleaning up in her room. I hadn't even gotten to their room yet, and she went ahead and made her their bed. You guys, look. She really tried her best to make the bed. She was putting up all of their squishmallows. It was so sweet. And actually, every time she sees me cleaning or organizing, she always wants to help, and she always wants to do her part, which is just so sweet. And then her sign actually fell down some house so I need to still hang that back up but yeah here's the beds that she made <laughs> so cute and then another thing that I wasn't used to was taking out the trash I know that's so simple but usually Frank and I we have like you know our difference I don't want to say roles in the house but like you know usually I'll do something and it's always it's been 50 50 but for the most part he'll be the one to take out the trash but you know you can't pull a bag out of a trash can with one arm so I have also taken on that res responsibility and it's not like a huge responsibility but when you have a spouse or a partner that's not able to do things anymore you know let's say if they got hurt or surgery you don't really think about those small things but like I said said it's taught me a lot it has taught me a lot and I have to say I'm very proud of myself I've had like I said highs and lows I've had a few mental breakdowns <laughs> uh, but I have continuously pushed through it and you know it's also just kind of became a part of my routine now but you know Frank since he is able to use his arm now he can actually take out the trash to the trash cans like with his right hand or his right arm um, help me unload the dishwasher and everything um, I think he was at an appointment when I was filming this video but he can do little things like that now which actually make a huge difference but like I said before the kids have also really stepped up and Scarlett saw that I needed help unloading the dishwasher so she actually jumped right in and started helping me and speaking of the dishwasher maybe you guys can give me some insight on this because we've noticed that our dishwasher has started to act up lately for some reason it's not drying anymore like it cleans everything but when we open it it's still all wet it's not dry at all um, actually before Frank had his surgery he replaced I think it's called the heating element at the bottom of the dishwasher but that literally did nothing so I'm not sure what's going on maybe you guys can let me know if you've ever had the same problem we want to you know kind of figure out what's going on before going out and buying a new dishwasher obviously if we have to we're going to but let me know if you guys have ever experienced this because it literally happened out of nowhere and then 
when we go to take the dishes out they're like still soaking wet and then we have to put them up while they're wet it's just annoying so you guys sound off in the comments down below help a girl out because i don't know what's going on all right guys so it's actually nighttime where i'm finishing up this voiceover earlier it was or I did that in the morning when I was talking about the Murdoch case. And if you guys are watching this video now and you've been invested, then you already know that the verdict was guilty. So what I was saying earlier in this video, my instinct was right. I was feeling like they were definitely going to find him guilty. Um, so now I'm going to have to find something else to bench listen to because that's all I've been listening to lately to, um, I guess, occupy my time when I'm cleaning and everything. So if you guys have any recommendations, I know you guys are always asking me, but I listen to the same people over and over and over again. So if you guys have any podcasts or YouTube channels that you love to watch all the time while you're cleaning, cooking, doing laundry, please let me know. I feel like all I've done so far in this video is just talk to you guys, which has been so nice since I haven't felt like I've talked to you guys in so long that I haven't really even talked about exactly what I'm doing in the video. Obviously, you guys can see what I'm doing, but um, I had Frank actually go to the store to stock up on some of the kids' snacks. So he got a few of their favorite things like applesauce, fruit snacks, chips, and some Cheez-Its. So I went ahead and put those or took those out of the box and organized those. You guys, my kids go through snacks like crazy. I am definitely gonna have to have or do a Costco haul very soon and go to Costco and really stock up in like their favorite snacks in bulk because I swear my kids are endless pits, especially Fletcher since he's home all day. I feel like all he does is snack in between his meals. But of course, we have to spoil our fur babies as well. So I have these canisters on the counter for their little treats and snacks. It's so funny because as soon as they heard the lid come off the canister, they knew that I was in their treats. And I just realized that little packet in there, I forgot to take that out while I was filming. I noticed it afterwards, so I went ahead and took it out. I don't know if it would really matter or not, but of course, since they heard, that I was messing with their treats. I had to go ahead and give them their treats, do a few little tricks. Um, but before we end this video, this is what I was talking about you guys, where I had to do stuff that I normally don't do. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Maybe it's just like the super girly girl in me. Like I can have my other side where I'm a little bit more rugged, but for the most part, I just don't like loud things like tools and everything it kind of scares me um i didn't realize that you could actually get your hair cut or caught in this thing so um i'm also very careful with that i don't ever oh look i look you guys see my braid <laughs> i was so nervous so i have to be extra careful because it actually caught onto my shirt one day and i'm like i didn't know that it could do that and frank's like yeah Brittany. i'm like i've never used it before so it kind of scares me a little bit like I said, we'll have to see about the lawnmower because that scares me too. But anyways, you guys, I'm toughing it out. I'm doing it and I am proud of myself, but that is going to be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you guys missed me as much as I missed you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in our next one. Bye guys.